Welcome back. Meghan Markle has defiantly stepped out into the public alongside Prince Harry just hours after a court showdown over her royal biography. US correspondent Michael Genovese joins us. And Jenna, I tell you what, if Harry and Meghan were feeling the pressure, they didn't show it, did they? Yeah, defiant. That's that word, guys. Good morning. Uh, being used by a lot of the tabloids to describe their red carpet appearance last night at a veterans ball in New York. Harry was invited along to hand out awards, given that today is Veterans Day here in the United States. It happens on a week full of headlines for the former royal couple. Harry and Meghan are under pressure for their $180 million Netflix deal because Harry is refusing to comment on the portrayal of his uh, mother in season season five of the Netflix show The Crown. Well, yesterday it was all around uh, Meghan Markle and her ugly legal stoush between the publishers of the Mail on Sunday about that letter that she wrote to her father and whether or not it was meant to stay private. We heard sworn testimony uh, that she had questioned whether or not to refer to her father in that letter as daddy, questioning whether that if it was to be made um, public that that may uh, tug at the heartstrings. And Jenna, we have a, an update too on the Queen's health this morning. Yeah, we do. Her oldest son, Prince Charles, was at a charity event in South London and was asked, as he always is, how's your mother going? And uh, he replied saying that she is doing fine. Of course, a lot of uh, concern around the 95-year-old monarch after she had recently been told to take a couple of weeks off to rest up, which resulted in her uh, cancelling a, a host of events through October and November. But that news through this morning, according to her eldest son, Mum's doing fine. Great news for everyone tracking her health closely. That's good. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> the kids and the grandkids, on the other hand, oh, causing her all sorts of heartache. <laughs> good on you, Jen. Thank you.